Severn Warehouse fire continues to feed on paper and pallets. Firefighters just pouring gallons of water on it, but it's still burning 30 hours after it started. And tonight, new images of what firefighters are dealing with. Our Ariel Mallory is on this story tonight. And Ariel, you've got that new drone video tonight. Yeah, I do, Lenise and Byron. This is some of the video they gave us a different perspective of just how massive this fire is. And tonight, it's still not out. Tonight, brand new images giving us a bird's eye view of the massive warehouse that's been burning for some 30 hours now. The relentless flames causing the roof to cave in. These pictures from inside the warehouse showing us exactly what mobile firefighters are dealing with. Huge flames and never ending smoke. The fire breaking out at Merchants Transfer around five yesterday. Three million gallons of water used so far as the building continues to deteriorate. Uh, the building will will likely wind up being uh, completely torn down to render it safe for us. While I'm not able to say how much of the building has been damaged, I think it will wind up being a total loss in order for us to do what we need to do. Investigators are still trying to figure out what exactly started the fire, but say it's mostly bales of paper and wood that's burning. With the heat almost peaking into triple digits this afternoon, firefighters have had to battle more than just the flames. Fires are hot by nature. Everybody knows that. Our firefighters are uh, very fit for uh, this kind of work, this kind of stress on the cardiovascular system. But even so, it just means we have to rotate personnel more frequently. District Chief Scott Carmichael says they have have plans of staying out there through the night. Keep the fires at bay until tomorrow morning, at which time we'll rotate more personnel in at 7 o'clock and the contractors will begin working the machines again until all of the unsafe metal structure has been taken down. Now, I'm told no firefighters have been injured and that that warehouse is used for storage, so no one was inside when the fire started. Live tonight in the studio, Ariel Mallory, Fox 10 News.